Leanne Smith, suspected of suffocating her two children in a Costa Brava hotel room, is appearing in a Spanish court this morning. The 43-year-old was yesterday taken by Spanish police back to the Barcelona apartment that she'd shared with her partner, Martin, Martin and two children, Rebecca and Daniel. Now, it's emerged that prior to attempting suicide, Miss Smith wrote a note saying, I hope you can forgive me. Let's cross live to our crime correspondent, Martin Brunt, who's in the Spanish town of Blanes. And uh, Martin, tell us what kind of hearing this is that Leanne Smith is facing. She's essentially being questioned by the judge who has overall control of this case. And uh, there could be all sorts of questions uh, he will put to her, but principally he will want to know from her exactly what happened to the children, or two children when they were uh, found dead on Tuesday afternoon. Um, it's been reported that uh, she left a note in which she said she had killed the two children and uh, it emerged, as you said in the intro, um, this morning we've been told that uh, as well as explaining that she was concerned that social services would take the children off her. She also said in that note, I hope you can forgive me. Uh, that's a new bit of detail that's, uh, that's emerged this morning. But the judge will ask her uh, all about the events of Tuesday, but I guess also uh, what led up to it, the days perhaps since her husband was arrested two weeks ago. At the end of all this, and this could take some hours, perhaps the rest of today, the judge will have to decide whether to charge Leanne Smith with the murder of those two children or keep her in custody for more police questioning. Or perhaps, um, if the question of her mental health state is still unresolved, and we know she's been having psychiatric tests, um, he might decide to send her to some kind of secure hospital for further treatment. There's a judicial secure... Uh, secrecy around this case um, so it's difficult to get anything officially from uh, the authorities but once this hearing is over today we hope that we'll get some statement about what the immediate future is for her. And as you say uh, her psychiatric health is clearly an, an issue here. Uh, tell us a little bit more about what we